Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a do-it-yourself Easter themed home decor video. These are also great options for spring in general. They're super cute and really easy to do. So the first idea is Easter themed napkin rings. I had seen these on the Pottery Barn website. These are the original inspiration for these. But I did want to switch them up a little bit and they were a little bit too expensive in my opinion. So I had seen these. They come in a variety of different themes and animals. Then for the ring itself, I picked these up. They are actually clear plastic shower rings for like a shower curtain. So I simply glued this shut with a hot glue gun to keep it closed. And then I glued each rabbit on the top. Obviously this idea is perfect for year round. You could do any theme or any animal and any color, including the metallic if you did want to match the silver like the Pottery Barn ones. It would also be really cute if you wanted to do pastel, etc. depending on the color scheme you're going for. So mine's pretty neutral. I decided to go with white and here you can see how I had set up the dining room and table. And then here is a close up of each one individually. Really quick, easy to do. Again, you can really change these up to better fit your theme but it's a really affordable and easy option, even great for last minute, a party, etc. The second idea is rustic farmhouse Easter themed signs. So these are perfect for like a tiered tray. That's what I use mine on for the most part, depending on the size and shape that you choose. You could of course put these in other places of your home. So to give you an idea, you could definitely use something like those rabbits that I previously shown, but this is also another cute little idea if you're going for a smaller frame. These are actually buttons. They have little, I don't know what they're called, like eyelet, you know, like the little circle behind it where you would sew it on something because again, it is a button, but we're not gonna use it for that today. <laughs> but I thought these were really cute, perfect for spring and Easter. And then these are the frames that I use the most. These are just like little plain wood frames that I picked up and started to paint. You obviously could leave them, paint them, stain them, whatever your little heart desires, however you wanna put them together. That is completely up to you. You can get super creative with this. You can really personalize it. I just love this, I think it's so cute. So I painted the front and back because I do use mine double-sided so I can just simply flip them around for the season or a holiday. So really it's like two signs in one. So you can set these up however you want, again, using whatever theme and objects you would like. You could also use decals, so I make a bunch of my own. For example, I made one that says, Hello Spring, and another one that says, Happy Easter. And then another easy idea that you could definitely switch out throughout the year, seasons and holidays, would be to have this sort of like a shadow box idea. You can simply hang things from it or wrap around it. I made these little peeps, which I will show you later on. Just a simple, understated pop of color or pop of decoration. You could do words, symbols, objects, really anything. So here's a few of the end results that I had put together. So I don't really need to give you guys a step-by-step -step on this, obviously, because there are just so many options on how you can create some. But really all you're gonna need are the few things I mentioned. So miscellaneous objects for decoration, frames, paint, and a glue gun. The third idea is what I call a bunny bottom, or I've also heard it called Curious Bunny. I've seen these on the internet a few times and I thought it was really cute. And there's a ton of different ways that you can make them, but this was two ways that I made mine. So you're gonna need a base, which both of these are going to be a base, depending on the size. So I made two different sizes. I'm gonna start with my small one. So I'm first gonna take my little terracotta pot and I'm going to rip up a bunch of cotton balls and form these into one giant cotton ball, basically. <laughs> so I'm just ripping these up and forming them together, filling up the planter pot. Then again, just like a little cotton ball snowman, you're gonna build right on top. Again, just blending the cotton together to form one giant cotton ball. This is going to be the body and bum of the little bunny. Then using felt, I just cut out two ovals as the feet. I cut out smaller circles and ovals to make the little toes or pads that a little bunny rabbit would have. and you're just going to glue these together. Once these are dry, you can glue these onto your giant cotton ball. You're gonna want these to hang over a little bit. You can see how I'm doing it here, just so it looks like he's kind of halfway in, halfway out, or stuck in the little planter. <laughs> then to make the tail, I'm gonna do the same thing I did previously, just ripping apart a cotton ball, then blending it together to make more of a circle. This is just gonna make a little fluffy tail. That's it, really super easy to do. But this size is perfect for a tiered tray or just like a little cubby. Then 
The next option is the bigger size. So these I actually used, these long pieces of fuzzy, I think they call them craft stems. You can see they show examples on the front of different ways that you can actually make other animals. But I'm going to use these to make little bunny bums. Same thing with the feet and pads. You can use really whatever color you want. So I'm gonna take the fuzzy thing <laughs> and it does have a hard wire in it so you can really form it to whatever shape you want. And I'm going to twist this to make sort of a circle but also sort of a cone because you're twisting from a smaller size down into a bigger size, like a cone shape. You also could do just like a giant ball but I feel like the cone shape was easier to fit into this canister. So once my shape is done, I'm just gonna cut off the excess and place this on top, sort of like a hat. So you should have something like this. Little fluff balls. Moving on to the feet and pads. I'm gonna do the same thing, cutting out the shape that I feel sort of mimics a real life bunny rabbit. And then again with the little pads. Then for the tail, I'm actually gonna go back to using that cotton. So I'm gonna take the cotton and make it into a little circle, and then glue all of these onto the back. And that's it. So you can place these wherever you want, somewhere kind of hiding, jumping, falling, <laughs> getting stuck, whatever you would think that the rabbit is doing. So here I placed one with a bunch of fake flowers in my living room. And then the other one I placed in my canister here on my hutch. There's definitely a bunch of ways that you could change this up or use it in your home decor. Again, it's really easy to do, really quick, and something fun that you could also do with the kids. I also found these little twine carrots, which went perfectly with my theme. So I placed these just randomly around the decor as well. But another idea, is you could make a garland out of these, which is also really cute. Perfect for a hutch, a shelf, a wreath, etc. So I previously mentioned my faux peeps, so I'm going to show you how to do that next. So I did pick up a bunch of real peeps because I'm going to use them anyway, but I'm going to take one out now to use as sort of a template. So I'm going to show you two different ways that you can make these. One is using felt and another is using foam. So first I'm going to show you how to do the foam. I'm going to pick these out in pastel colors. And I'm going to literally just place my peep on top and trace around it. Then cut this out. Then using a Sharpie, I'm just gonna make the little face, which is literally just three dots. <laughs> Super easy. You could also give them expression if you wanted or leave them blank, totally up to you. But you should have something like this. So different ways you could use these is you can attach them to yarn, string, twine, ribbon to create a garland. You could also place little sticks on the back of them to have them in planters or food bowls, vases, wherever you just want a little peep. <laughs> They'd also be really cute in like a gift basket or to use as like a gift tag. I'm telling you, all of these have so many endless options. So these are 2D for more of a 3D option, like a real peep. I used felt, so I did the same thing. I traced it, cut them out. Then I ripped up little pieces of cotton and you're going to sandwich the cotton in between each piece. So you're just going to stuff this and glue the edges or sew the edges depending on how much time you have and how much patience you have. <laughs> so just like a stuffed animal, I'm going to glue the bottom then start stuffing in the cotton and then finish the glue and give it a face. You could do the same ideas that I mentioned previously with the foam peeps. I just left mine as is and kind of tucked them randomly around different decor that I had. You can see my little peep right here. But it's just a really fun, easy, subtle way to add a pop of color and a pop of holiday to your home decor. My last idea is Easter themed canisters or jars. So you can pick up 
a canister or a jar, whatever you want to call them, from pretty much anywhere. I picked up a few on clearance from Marshalls, but definitely check out the dollar store or Walmart. Thrift stores are a great idea. They have a ton of them for a, just a few dollars. No matter what color or print they are, you can easily change that up with spray paint. So I'm gonna actually spray paint these, again using my Satin Harlan White, and then a clear gloss over top to seal it and also give it more of a shine. And definitely just literally turn it around and use the back of it. But if you wanna make one that's double-sided or you need to cover the entire thing, definitely feel free to do that. So for the lid, this one has just a white lid, but I'm actually gonna add a pop of color to it. So I'm just going to take some painter's tape and block off whatever area I don't want the paint to touch. Then you can use either spray paint or paint them by hand to give a pop of color. So here are before and after pictures of how you can do a colored handle. I ended up mixing all three of these to get the color that I was looking for, but you can use any color that you want. If you do use acrylic, then I recommend also getting a gloss coat for over top to keep that shine. Once this is dry, you can remove the tape and your lid is ready. So here is how I set mine up. I love the subtle little pops of pink. Still neutral, but gives you that little bit Easter feminine touch to the decor. You could also easily just hand draw different designs or words on these or make your own decals or stickers as well. So using my Cricut, I'm gonna show you an example. So I just wrote out the word jelly beans with my spray painted canister here, and I'm going to transfer this right on top. You could do endless different things. Happy Easter, hello spring, happy spring, etc. Peeps maybe if you want to stuff this with some peeps coming out. I encourage you to get creative. So here's what my little setup looks like with my decal. So that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also be sure to make sure you are still subscribed to my channel and you have notifications turned on so you never miss a new video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and a happy Easter and I will see you guys in the next video.